Yeah, Harry has huge balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Despite having no testosterone. Oh. Okay, nice. Man, you made fun of my medical condition. <laughs> Femi looks like the first time I ever tried to grill a hot dog. <laughs> Perfectly charred. And eight inches long. <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch! <laughs> Harry doesn't like lactation porn. In his words, not enough children. <laughs> yeah, that's my problem with it. <laughs> Who likes lactation porn, Femi? Me! He's oh, fucking cool that shit. Femi is so black. How black is he? I just wanted to do that. <laughs> no. <I'm kidding. laughs> no. Femi is so black that he could get a swastika tattooed on his forehead and still get a job interview. <laughs> Dude, I have it on my ass crock. <laughs> That's dark. <laughs> yeah, the only thing lower than Harry's spam count <laughs> is his stats bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, we're all poor. <laughs> That's true. First my testicles, now my fucking tax bracket. All right, uh, Femi, what's your full name? Uh, Papa Femi Ekundayo, and my middle name is White Power. <laughs> <laughs> the joke's not really gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dick. All right. I guess I'll audible. All right. Uh, God, fuck you, dude. Uh, I love you, though. You're very racist. All right. Um, uh, this is really a battle of the light mode versus dark mode. The, the yin versus the yang. Captain of the lacrosse team versus I'm the captain now. <laughs> that was an audible. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Harry is an excellent hibashi chef. <laughs> he spent years training at Planned Parenthood. <laughs> so the joke is I cut up fetuses? <laughs> and fry them. <laughs> An egg is an egg. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just a monster. Oh my God. Okay. Um, all right. Femi looks like he gets his food by chasing wildebeest till they die of exhaustion. <laughs> yeah. Wildebeest being what Femi calls fat white chicks. <laughs> I know you love those. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I'm still chasing Harry's mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, Harry's... I, I just want to say, I asked him if he was going to do a joke about fucking my mom before this, and he said no. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how hurt I feel right now. <laughs> yeah, because I already fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> That's two! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Harry's favorite sex move is oh, no. incest. <laughs> wait, wait, let me try it out again. Harry's favorite sex move is rape. <laughs> me too. <laughs> you have such a way with words, man. Um, Femi is a published author. Clap it up for that. That's true. That's true. Yeah. His village back home calls him Shakespeare. Yeah. Not because of his writing, but because he would always shake spears at the neighboring tribe. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to scare the white man. <laughs> Yeah, Harry hates brownies. Oh, man. Which is what he calls Mexicans. 
<laughs> All right. Femi's the only guy I know that purposely picks up scam calls just on the off chance that he meets his dad. <laughs> 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 Harry wipes his ass with his tongue. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. uh, Femi's a lot like the Sears Tower because he's tall, black, and nobody uses his real name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my God! Good fucking work, you guys. It's. It's incredible to me that Femi learned a second language just to say those words, you know what I mean? That's crazy. You are assimilating all too well to the terrifying white man that, that lives, that's Harry, I guess. Uh, wow, uh, great fucking battle, you guys. Uh, let's hear from the panel. Daniel, you got a microphone got, in your I hand. Let's it. hear from uh, you. I loved you both in the movie Challengers. It was really hot when you came. <laughs> That was great. Um, man, it was a really good. You came back in the end so strong. That was wonderful. Uh, Femi, you were great. I mean, bro, you're wearing your fucking Nigerian Kenyan sandals, dude. <laughs> you came ready for battle. I think you wrote your jokes on your green card, too. <laughs> Did you see it? That's exactly what it is. But anyway, I have to give it to um, Femi, because great, great, great job. Hey, Holy cow. This was fantastic. Uh, I like where Femi was like, my middle name is White Power. <laughs> and then he was like, and I think you said Hibachi, which I think is your real middle name, right? <laughs> you were like, hey, Hibachi. I'm like, that's got to be it. <laughs> but this whole, every time it's white and black roast, I feel like every black person that's up here roasting is like, yeah. Uh, you're gay, and then every white person is like, oh yeah, well, um, you're black. <laughs> that has been every fucking white black roast. That is uh, awesome. Um, Femi, yeah, I don't know, you got such a, a scary voice. I don't, not even in a racist way, just the Garfield t-shirt, and you're at, you just talk like, yes. <laughs> But I, I, you guys pulled this was the battle of the night so far, and uh, I think, but Harry, I think you won it. Whoa, Harry, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Whoa, I didn't mean whoa. Yeah. No, that was really racist. That, well, you we were just talking a lot about Femi hyping him up. I wasn't expecting one for, but one for Harry, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was hyping him, I was hyping him up because it was making fun of him. It's the making fun sandwich. All right, Chris, it's your turn. Wow, <laughs> pretty cool. It, the eight inches comeback, buddy. Right off the top of right the dome. The you completely stole his white power. What a backfire for you, dude. He stole that. And then uh, I love that you just call pornography sex movies. I like that. They don't like me as much as they like you. But I will say, dude, Femi, you were winning it the whole time. And then the white man came back. <laughs> At the end, dude, you had Wildebeest, the Shakespeare, you had the scam call, and then you ended yeah. strong with the Sears Tower. Yeah. As much as it pains me to do this, I think the white man wins. Yeah. You're bringing it back for us. Harry. We're back in the game because of you, and I respect it. Two for Harry, one for Femi. What are we oh, thinking, John? All right. It was so close, man. Harry, thanks for dressing up, dude. That's really nice. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks for making me stare at your Sasquatch legs, you fucking weird fuck. Like, what the, what are you, t are you putting hymns on your legs, dude? What's going on with that? I, you maybe want to go to a doctor, man. I just can't take my eyes off of them. It's like a train wreck. Holy hell. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable and turned on at the same time. Femi, amazing, dude, amazing. Uh, don't listen to what he told you in the green room. Uh, don't go back to Africa, okay? <laughs> 
Just stay here, dude. Just stay here. Okay, I'm, I, I kind of agree with uh, my buddy Chris. Uh, dude, it was so close the whole time. The comebacks, the, the big dick was so funny, the white power. Uh, but Harry at the end with just those jokes were so good. They were really well written jokes, so I gotta give it to Harry. Harry's our winner! His name is Harry and his legs are Harry. Ah! Harry legs. All right, last thoughts from Connor. Last thought. It was great to see the guy who flies drones and the guy who throws rocks at drones <laughs> battle each other. I thought that was really fun. Uh, I wanted to, I, I would have given my vote to Femi, and I would tell Harry if you're wondering why I gave it to Femi, there's a story of a scorpion and a frog. <laughs> All right? The scorpion stung the frog, and the frog asked why, and the scorpion said, because I'm a scorpion. So think about that. Take that home. <laughs> there, and all of you can think about that long and hard. And Harry is going to kill our my winner, guys. Give it up for Harry and Femi. Incredible job, you two. Well, okay. Good work. Don't trip over the mic in your flip flops there. Allow this. You're next, sir. Hi, I'm Chris. This is the afterburn portion of the roast battle. This was so much fun. You've done the show. How many times have you done the show now? I think four or five. This was a good one. This is my favorite one. What made this one different from the other one? I could be as racist as I wanted because I knew he was going to say the most fucked up shit imaginable. And so, and also Femi and I are good friends, so I just knew it was going to be no holds barred, We're saying whatever we want. When, fun. when you were up there, I mean, did you think that you were going to walk away with the W? In the, you know, in the midsection of the battle, he took the one thing from you. It looked like all hope was lost. You ended up with the win. What was going through your mind during that? I was pretty sure he was going to win because Femi is the most likable person that's ever existed. So, yeah, I was pretty shocked. Well, I mean, you fucking killed it, dude. My, I mean, amazing. I mean, you're coming onto the show a good amount now. Is there anybody you look at? You're kind of getting the vibe of the up and comer that's getting competitive, like the uh, the up and comer competitive kind of guy. Do you have anybody in your crosshairs that you want to go next? Max Sorich. You want to do Max? <laughs> All right, it's booked, it's locked, and it's official. You're already in. Would you Would you go against like a former champion or someone who like does it a million times? Would you want to do that? Anybody. I'll go against anybody. With the serial killer eyes, I'm scared. That's pretty intimidating. That's awesome, man. You're so, you're so fucking funny. Great job tonight. Walking away with the win. Where is okay? Now he disappears. He got a, he's on a boat, he's going back. Nice. Under this light? What light? What are you talking about? There he is. Yeah, we need that that was that was racist. He, our director was just like, we need Femi with more light. Buddy. Once again you come through, it was very fucking funny. Uh, how many times have you done the show now? Four times. Four times now. This was the I just got done talking with Harry. He said this was his favorite time doing the show ever. He said he knew that it was you were going to be. <laughs> he gave him extra. <laughs> Justin just gave him the phone light. He said this was the most fun he's ever had doing this. Um, how did you feel about this specific battle in your catalog? It's honestly such a fucking great time. Like every single time, it is always a great time. Like there's no time that isn't the best. Literally, I fucking loved it. Look at this guy, dude. Rising star. Rising star. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. You took that joke from him. You have an incredible way of just flipping it, right? You have an amazing comeback. You're more likable than everybody, and you're black. So you have so much in your arsenal. You ended up not taking the win this time. Are you surprised, given how good you were doing in the beginning? I mean, Harry is an exceptional writer. I freaking love the guy. Like, definitely well-deserved, 100%. Awesome. Anybody in your crosshairs for the future? Let me see. Hannah Belmont. Hannah Belmont, you're hunting, dude. One more white woman, for, one more white, one more white woman for the catalog. Get out of here, man. It's great to see you. Thank you for doing the show. As always.